Hey guys, it's Tim from Success Insider here and in today's video we're going to be basically covering the topic of how to take action without hesitation, okay? And this is a question that is asked a lot in Success Insider's secret group, our Facebook private group. Um, basically, a lot of you have been asking me, you know, how do you take action? Because I keep on, you know, hesitating or something is happening in their life that's really halting them. You know, usually fear or something on the lines of that sort of deal. So we'll be covering this topic. I'll be revealing five action steps that you must try in order to really move your life forwards. And as always, guys, if you haven't tried these steps, you must try. Why? Because as Einstein famously once said, insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results, right? So if you're not happy with your current outcome, you must try something new, right? In order to have something different in your life, you must do something differently. It sounds so simple, but very few people do what they know. So one of the most famous life coaches, Tony Robbins said, it is a moment of decision your destiny is shaped, right? It is in a moment of decision your destiny is shaped. So a lot of people know that action is critical in order for them to really move forward in their life, right? So they have made a decision on something, but they're still hesitating on that action, thus holding them from basically reaching their dream self, right, their destiny. Um, so why is it that so many people know what it is that they want and have made the decision, but they're still holding back? Well, it's usually, guys, it's usually down to the fact that they're being selfish. And so this is the first point I want, I want to talk to you about, right? In order for you to really stop hesitating on taking action is you have to stop being selfish. What do I mean by that? Basically, guys, is that you have to stop thinking about yourself. It's, it's a very hard trait, considering we're all self-centered humans from birth, right? We're born alone, we die alone. But you have to look at the bigger picture. Whatever you're trying to do in your life, right? In, let's say, health, wealth, and love. Whatever you're trying to do, it will impact others along the journey. If you're trying to create a big business, right? It's gonna help a lot of people. Well, hopefully it will, because that's the only way you will create a big business, right? Business is basically adding value to people's lives. So you have to basically look at the bigger picture and no longer make it about yourself. It has to be about other people. What value will it provide to other people if you take action, right? Say you're hesitating on basically asking a girl for their number or taking her out for a date. Well, you may very well be a future husband. Right? And in order for you to contribute value to her, you have to go bloody approach her. Right? She may be a very lonely girl. You're the guy to make her happy. That's still a form of contribution and value, is it not? Visualize the fact that whatever it is you're trying to do, you're going to succeed and it's going to change the world. Right? Whatever idea it is, whatever mission you have got, you have to look at the bigger picture and realize that when we all die, one day because guys you will die our time is limited every second going by is a moment in our time that is eventually gonna you know blow out right so what you have to realize is once you're gone you don't want to be the richest guy in the graveyard you want to be the guy who has left a legacy that have literally changed the world okay Steve Jobs was always implying this during his speeches about the fact that his mission is not to be the richest guy in the graveyard. He said his mission was to create the greatest products that you know human beings have seen that will change the lives of masses, the people who use Apple products. And that is the reason why he was working on the iPhone 4S during his death, right? On his deathbed, he was working on this business, even though he was about to die. Why? Because his picture of why he wants to do that is huge, right? His, um, his why, his why on why he's taken action is not about him. It's about other people. It's about contribution. It's about adding value to other people's lives. It's no longer about him. And that's what basically pushed him forwards. And that's what made him, you know, such a successful entrepreneur who have left a massive legacy on this planet and will continue to as long as Apple brand survives. Right? This is a classic example of 
how you should not be selfish. No longer make it about yourself, guys. You have to look at the bigger picture of life. Okay, the second point, guys, is basically clarify your life's mission, right? Your dream life. What do you really want to achieve in your life? What sort of legacy do you want to leave behind? What do you want people stood around your grave or funeral, right? Stood around you to say about you, right? The positive traits. You have to look at your end goal, right? What do you really want to have achieved by the time you die? And once you have really clarified that end goal, you need to start chunking it down. Say your end goal is to become a millionaire. Well, start chunking it down into, let's say, five-year goal, and then three-year goal, one-year goal, and then start doing it into monthly goals, weekly goals, and daily goals, right? And then you can start ticking it off as you go along. It's all about setting goals, right? But not setting these wild, big visions and just saying, yeah, yeah, it's going to get there one day. It's about chunking it down as well. So clarify your life's mission. The reason why life's mission, clarifying life's mission is so important is the fact that it acts as like a flagpole, right? You plant in the ground and when the life's winds try to blow you down, you've got something to hold on to because life never operates on a straight line. You will be chucked obstacles. You will be thrown down face flat. You know, you, you will be felt, you will feel horrible at times. You will feel like giving up at times. But as long as you've got a life's mission, right? You know exactly why you're taking action because you want to get there. You want that legacy to be left behind. You want those particular traits you want to be remembered for. So make sure to clarify your life's mission and really write it down and really tell yourself every day, every time you're hesitating, this is what I want and this is why I'm doing what I'm about to do. Okay, the third point guys is basically set at least one goal a day that really pushes you forward, right? set at least one goal a day because it's all about being better than you was yesterday, right? You always want to be trying to improve yourself on a day-to-day -day basis. You always want to be analyzing your day-to-day -day habits and what's happened. If something's happened that was negative today or last week, you want to go back to that day and basically ask yourself, how can I be, be better moving forward today, right? It's all about self-improvement, self-development. It's all about improving how you are on a day-to-day -day basis because basically small chunks is what makes the bigger picture, right? A mountain wasn't, you know, a man doesn't build a mountain by just chucking it onto the planet. A man builds a mountain by basically grabbing one stone at a time, right? It creates the bigger picture, right? Imagine like Lego bricks and you're just building this huge mountain one at a time. That's exactly what this is all about. It's about setting daily goals that gets you to your dream life, right? Setting goals that, you know, pushes you forwards and really makes you strive towards success. So guys, try it. Set at least one goal from now on, every day, and make yourself better than you was yesterday. If you make mistakes today, it's fine. Just make sure you've learned from yesterday's mistake and make sure you don't make that same mistake today, right? Learn from them, grow from them, and so forth. Move forward, right? Every every passing moment, every passing second is a new chance for you to really turn it around and really, you know, try again, right? Every passing moment in your life is a new chance. So this is your new chance to be better. Okay, the last point is basically turn it into a habit. So everything I've mentioned to you during this video, yeah, it's all fun and games. You might give it a shot on Monday, but by Friday, are you still doing it? The difference between a lot of successful people and a lot of unsuccessful people is that successful people are able to create things and actually do it on a day-to-day -day basis. So um, a trait that a lot of average people share is they give something a shot and then they it just slowly fuses out, right? So in order for you to really chuck yourself into the 5%, right, and make yourself successful, you've got to be one that's different, that carries on, that creates things into habits and you know when their minds you, you know your mind is saying to you oh i can't be bothered you're the one who steps up to the game what you have to realize guys is that the same voices in your mind right that's holding you back is the same voices that is being heard in the guy's mind that's next to you okay so you have to realize that 
people all have these inner voices that really holds them back. So it's up to you to decide, are you the one that's going to step up? Are you the one that's going to move forwards? Or are you going to be like the guy next to you who just holds back and just listens to his inner voice that's holding him back? He's like, oh, I can't be bothered to go into the gym. I can't be bothered to start a business, right? Don't copy other people. You have to be different. If you want to be successful, be different from other people and create things into a habit. It's easy to meditate once. It's not easy to constantly do it. So are you the one who's going to create things into habit? If you're watching videos like this, I'm sure you are. So make sure to move forwards on this. Our last point is basically pain and pleasure. Um, a mistake a lot of people have made uh, is basically not really our fault, but it's our, more like our mind's fault is that we have linked pain and pleasure to the wrong things. So let's say, um, usually people who are large, who are obese, have linked pleasure to eating a lot of food and pain to eating less amount of food, right? And let's say unsuccessful people have linked pleasure to finishing work at 5 p.m. and going home and just resting. And they have linked pain to working, starting work at 9 a.m starting work at Monday after their weekend off, right? In order for you to become successful and just basically take action, you have to question your beliefs around pain and pleasure. What is it that's holding you back from action? Usually is the fact that you've linked more pain to taking action instead of pleasure, right? So you have to question that belief system in your mind right now. What is your mind saying when you want to take action? Is it actually saying, oh, I do want to take action because I think this will happen? Well, if it's a pain emotion, you have to change it. You have to start reconfiguring that programming and start thinking to yourself, how can I link that with pleasure, right? Think to yourself the positive outcomes of what could happen instead of the negative and focus on that positive and take action moving forwards, right? Because if you link pain to action, you're never gonna take action. But if you link pleasure to action, you will never hesitate, right? Think of all the opportunities that will happen from you taking action. And think of everything that you will attract, right? That you want to attract from you taking action. Or think about how taking action is gonna contribute massive, massive amount of value to the world and towards your bigger dream, right? Without you taking action, you will never get to your end goal. You'll never help other people in the world. You'll never leave a legacy. You'll never have, you know, people sit around your funeral caring about you, saying the stuff that you want them to say about you. This is the power of really questioning your belief system about pain and pleasure. You know, what have you really linked pain and pleasure to in your mind? Once you find that out, your life will never be the same again. Really start questioning what your mind's saying to you guys and analyze it. And once you do that, you'll really start reaping the benefits. So guys, that is it from me. I hope you found the video helpful. Um, if you have, please click the like button. And as always, my comments box is for you guys, for you to ask questions. Usually though, the best place to ask me questions is in the Success Insider Secret Group, right? This is a group where you can find your future uh, mentors, business partners, peer group, you name it. It's a, it's a group where we join as a tribe and really push our lives forward together. So guys, if you've not joined that yet, make sure to click the description box below and you will basically be approved by me. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you next time, have a great time and make sure to take action as always. See you soon.